you know, first of all, um, you know, fall for Greenville, and as you can see, the, the tagline, you know, it's really a taste of our town. It started as a one-day event, what will now be 32 years ago, which now has grown to the event, which it is, with the fantastic restaurant participations. That's the taste part. But to me, taste is also about the experience. It's the sounds and the sights. It's everything that Greenville, the good things about Greenville. Um, and we just think it's the signature event and we want to keep it that way. Um, so one of the great things about it, and if you look around the country at other events of our size, you know, we have about 200,000 people attend a three-day event, very, very few of those festivals are successful enough to get back to the community. So one, one of the wonderful things that I think is part of the taste of Greenville is the fact that Greenville and Greenville events give back to Greenville. So that's really what we're here today to do, is to celebrate um, the reality of we have a very successful event that provides a wonderful experience and gives back to the community. So that's really what it, uh, why we're so excited to be involved with this event. It's such a pleasure um, to be here today to celebrate with you um, and to represent the 4,000 employees of Bon Secours St. Francis. Um, we too believe that St. Francis Fall for Greenville is about feeling good, body, mind, and spirit. The sampling of new flavors, inspiring entertainment, uh, and the genuine atmosphere that's found here in downtown Greenville reminds us to celebrate the best in life. We would like to thank the Fall for Greenville board uh, for your ongoing commitment in giving back to these organizations that make such a difference in our community each and every day. And Bon Secours uh, St. Francis is proud to stand among you today. Thank you. So let's get to the real business of celebrating, shall we? Summer, if you can rejoin me, we'd like to turn around a great big check. Teamwork. All right, ready? All right. <laughs> there you go. All right. $45,000 this year. We'll go ahead and, and uh, then one at a time, if you don't mind, um, representatives from uh, the recipients. Let's start with Boy Scout Troop 260. You'll come up and accept your check today. And maybe if you'll just kind of stay right here, it'd be great. Thank you. Gateway House. Greenville in Harmony. The Greenville Chinese Cultural Association. The United Way Hands on Greenville. On behalf of Lowe's and Fishes, the Newcomers Club of Greater Greenville. <laughs> on behalf of the Ronald McDonald House, the Red Shoe Society. and Surgeons for Sight. And of course, St. Francis has chosen the neonatal care unit at St. Francis East Side to receive their check. Let's have a round of applause for all of the recipients. Okay, I'd like to introduce at this time Emily Mussarello. She's the Development and Communications Director of the Ronald McDonald House Charities. I wanted just to give a brief overview of the Red Shoe Society. It is a group of young professionals who supports our children, families, staff, volunteers, and donors at the Ronald McDonald House. They serve as a philanthropic arm for our house, planning their own volunteer and social functions. The Red Shoe Society members engage, empower, and inspire other young professionals to participate in philanthropic and leadership endeavors within the community and build awareness for our house. Their mission is to be the premier young philanthropic society within the upstate. 
about the Ronald McDonald House. We are a home away from home for families of critically ill children. We help families cope with the stress and daily living expenses so they can be close and emotionally strong for their children. Each year we house over 400 families. The cost to take care of one family per night is $89. However, we only ask our families to donate $8 if they can, if they can afford it. This donation from Fall for Greenville um, will go back to our operation budget, allowing us to, to continue to serve our families. So again, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Restaurants had the opportunity to, uh, to participate in a variety of competitions over the weekend. Um, it's really one of the, the uh, longest running competitions in all the United States, the U.S. Food Silver Spoon Competition. Uh, that worked is over the course of the festival, professional judges actually rated the restaurants. Um, they recognized their best dish, and the top menu items are known as the Taster's Choice Award. So at this point, I'd like to recognize the 2012 winner of Taster's Choice. In case you weren't there, you missed the salmon and uh, lemon puree from Schwaben House. So if you folks could come up and accept your award. How about this? Thank you very much. Uh, I would think that a little puree could probably fit in this spoon right That's here. Right. So thank you very much. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> This year, you may have seen the ballot boxes at each of the, uh, the restaurant, the 40 restaurant booths, and uh, that was your opportunity to vote for the People's Choice <laughs> Award. Um, it was very popular. In fact, we're going to bring that back again for 2013 with a couple of interesting changes, I think. Uh, but now I'd like to congratulate the 2012 winner of the By Lowe's Center People's Choice Award, which was Sobeys. They said you would come and be all pastried up and everything, so. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Also want to recognize our, uh, our staff that's here today from the special events group at the city of Greenville. Uh, we just signed a contract this morning to have them help us do another incredibly professional event in uh, 2013. So to, uh, to Angie and Kevin, Jennifer, Tara, and Ashley, Thank you to all of you. I know you're all here, so thank you very much for your help in, in, uh, in handling our event. Please mark your calendars. October 11th through the 13th, 2013 is, uh, is the 32nd edition, believe it or not, 32nd edition of Fall for Greenville. So I hope you will mark your calendars. We are uh, online 24-7. Don't we sound cool? Uh, it's fallforgreenville.net. Please check back with us for updates. Again, thank you all for your support. Um, and I want to thank you personally for the privilege to be the opportunity board chair of 2013. Thanks for coming. We'll see you in October. <laughs>